Hello everyone, I'm Alex from Propedia. This channel is actually created to share in-depth research for all the projects around Singapore. Today, I'm going to share one project called Panorama, which is located in Amokyo. So this project actually consists of 698 units and it TOP in 2019. And it has one bedroom all the way to five bedrooms in terms of the layout. So today, I'm going to share on the one bedroom. So in terms of the one bedroom analysis for Panorama, there's three factors that is very important that will determine your profit. First one is actually the entry price. Second is the rental. And third is the different type of layout of the one bedroom. So there's three type of layout in terms of the one bedroom. First is 431, second 452, and third one 474. I'm going to go through all three different type of layout for you to understand how do we actually determine which one will have more profit. The most profitable transaction of the one bedroom, most of it is on the 431 square feet. Why is that so? If you look at the prices, they actually purchase at a higher per square foot on the first launch. But if you calculate the overall quantum, 431, even though they are higher in per square foot, they are actually purchasing at a lower quantum. So the key reason is what? Most of the units, even though 431, 452 or 474, they are having the same amount of rental in the current market. So why is there no difference in rental even though there is different sizes in the one bedroom? Now we want to dive deep in to look at the layout of all the one bedroom in Panorama. First is the 431 versus the 452. If you look at these two layout clearly, 452 have a slightly bigger kitchen than the 431. So in fact, you can't really see the difference if you are in the actual unit. So for the 452 and 474 comparison, you can see the only difference is on a bigger foyer area, which is like a walkway from the entrance. In future, your buyers and tenants will not be able to realize there is a difference to all these three layouts which is why later I'm going to show you all the transactions in the resale market, they actually have the same transaction price. So what I'm trying to say, in fact, the buyers and tenants, when they look at your unit in future, they might not even notice there is a difference in terms of the different layout. So in fact, they are paying the same price, same quantum for all the different layouts that we are talking about. Now I'm going to show you the transaction price of all the one bedroom in Panorama. So if you look at it clearly, the prices are ranging from 680,000 to about 730, 740,000, regardless of the size of the unit. I'm going to take these two transactions as a comparison for all of you to understand more about what I'm saying. First one is a 431 square feet transacted at $725,000. Second one is a 474 square feet transacted at a lower price of $685,000. So looking at these two transactions, you can see that even the smaller unit can transact at a higher price. So in fact, just now what we have gone through, the layout actually show a very, very important thing, which is what? The layout is so similar that the buyers can't differentiate the difference of the layout. The main cause of the difference in profit is mainly on the entry price of these two units. You look at it, stake 24 enter at the price of $588,000, whereas stake 38 enter at $646,000. So the vast disparity in the profit mainly are caused by the entry price. So whenever you want to buy a property, especially a new property, you need to understand what are some of the transactions of the same type of layout, same type of unit in the development itself. Are you buying lower or are you buying slightly higher than the rest of your neighbors? So one more factor is the supply in this particular area. In Panorama, there's only 92 units of one bedroom in this development. So as a buyer or a seller, you need to always keep track and take note of your surrounding properties. 
whether there is new supply coming in that will affect your prices. In Panorama now, my advice is you still can hold on to it. The prices is not going to have a huge difference in the next few years. But you need to take note whether there is new upcoming supply in the near future. Most important, if you are buyers today, what is the unit that you should be buying in Panorama? Based on my analysis and my research, I would recommend the 474 square feet unit. Why do I say that? Because today you are buying a 474 square feet unit at the same price of a 431 square feet and you are getting additional space for almost free. So this is the type of units that I think you should put your focus on if you are finding a one bedroom in this location. If you find this video useful, please click on the like and subscribe button. I'm Alex Go, and I will see you soon.